The Crimes Against Humanity initiative was begun almost three years ago to study the so sort of sociology of crimes against humanity, the, their existence in the world, and to draft a comprehensive convention that states could ratify, they could negotiate and ratify, that would require states to prevent the commission of crimes against humanity and provide for both individual criminal responsibility for the perpetrators of crimes against humanity and state responsibility if states were responsible for their commission. So an example of that is the Cambodian genocide which technically is not really a genocide, it was a crime against humanity, but up till now no one was ever held responsible for what happened. And Cambodia saw the loss of about two million out of seven million people during the Pol Pot regime. Horrific death. So our initiative is directed at situations like that. Sometimes it's cases of sexual violence, sometimes it's torture, sometimes it's disappearances, mass murder, systematic deportations, et cetera. And what we did is we spent three years in consulting with experts, in elaborating draft treaty language, in commissioning papers on particularly interesting questions relating to the prosecution and prevention of crimes against humanity. And I'm very pleased to say that that work is about to become published. Uh, we finished the convention this fall in both English and French. We are in page proofs with Cambridge University Press right now. And the book that is going to result from all of this work is about to be published. And we are in conversations with about six or seven governments right now trying to put together a coalition of like-minded states that might see this uh, as a priority. It's not an easy task because when one thinks about it, at Nuremberg, crimes against humanity was one of the core crimes. The other two were war crimes and aggression. And crimes against humanity was never codified. And it was never codified because states felt a little threatened because it does criminalize state behavior like what the Nazis did to European Jewry. And that's what the Crimes Against Humanity charges really were directed at at the Nuremberg Tribunal, although it covered uh, persecutions and deportations and things that happened to non-Jews as well. But we think of Crimes Against Humanity, we think of the Holocaust. And the idea of creating a treaty that would oblige all states to try or extradite perpetrators of Crimes Against Humanity is a little scary for states that's a little threatening. And so it was just never done. It's also quite difficult. And one of the things that helped us is in 1998, the International Criminal Court statute was negotiated. And the ICC statute has a comprehensive definition of crimes against humanity in it. So we were able to build upon the ICC statute. And in a sense, our treaty is designed at completing the Rome statute system. 